Hello, 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 wonderful artistic people. It is me, Johnny, from How to Get into Drama School, and just graduated from Fordham University Lincoln Center campus with my BA in Theater Arts, Acting, and I am so excited and relieved, having gone through such an unprecedented year as this year has been. I'm sure you all are very aware of that. Having gone through a very emotional week, I've had a lot of time to think and reflect and cry about a very emotional, but also exciting experience that it's been these past three and a half years I've spent at Fordham's undergraduate acting program. Upon reflecting, I thought a lot about what I was expecting coming into the undergraduate program and things that really surprised me throughout my college career. And I thought, hey, might as well make a video on it talking about the expectations of going to drama school versus the reality of what it's like when you actually get to drama school. So the first expectation I want to talk about is a thing that I feel like everyone thinks about at least once before they even come to college, which is, am I going to get booked from Showcase? And the answer is, there is no answer. For those of you who don't know what Senior Showcase is, it's an opportunity for graduating seniors in an acting program to showcase what they've learned and what they've culminated through monologue scenes or songs to casting directors, agents, or managers. At first glance, it seems like a big deal because it's your first real big opportunity to showcase yourself to these industry professionals. Showcase is a big part of a person's acting undergraduate or graduate program. It's an opportunity for you to present yourself in front of casting directors, agents, and managers, and make maybe even get booked from one. But the priority should be your training because most people are not going to get booked immediately from Showcase. Now, this isn't always the case. My graduating class from Fordham, for example, a lot of people got calls, agents, managers, casting directors reached out to a lot of us. Most of the time, based on different experiences I've heard from different acting programs, you can't put all your weight on hoping that you're going to get represented immediately from Showcase. First and foremost, your priority should be the training in your program, at least in my opinion. The second expectation I think some people have when coming to drama school is that your entire career in college is just going to be an upwards incline to becoming the best actor you possibly can be. As much as we wish this were the case, all of us do, you're probably going to face some challenging times and moments where a scene may not feel right, might be struggling with a monologue, a character, you're probably not going to be perfect. But that's okay. You shouldn't aim to be perfect when you're coming to drama school. Nobody is. The whole point of you going to drama school is so you can learn to become a stronger, more adaptive artist. And in order to become a stronger artist, you have to face failure, as cliche as that may sound. And the third expectation I think that a lot of people have is that they're just going to be torn open and they're not going to have any fun whatsoever. A lot of people think about drama school as boot camp where all the teachers and faculty members are going to tear you up and rebuild you from the ground up. And I know that certain schools may operate similar manner to that, but I think there's a connotation with thinking you're going to be going to acting boot camp where you're not going to enjoy any part of it, essentially going to die for your art. Guys, you want to go to drama school because you love it and you enjoy it. That's why I went to drama school. That's why anyone who's an artist, who's an actor, musician, whoever, wants to go to school to study the thing they love to do. You want to be challenged? Yes, of course you do. You want to face failure and grow from it, but you want to enjoy the process along the way. Don't just think that you're going to go to drama school and people are just going to be cold, hard, Devil Wears Prada type people. I mean, you want to have teachers who are going to push you, but also care deeply about you. I was lucky enough to go to a program where every single teacher was completely invested in me, and because of that, I was invested in the work that I was doing in class and out of class. And God, did I love to do it. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful, having talked about three expectations versus the reality of what it's like to go to drama school. Please follow up everybody on how to get into drama school. Anthony Wofford, Brandon Gill, John R. Cauley, the team, they're all fantastic. Please comment down below, and I hope to see you for the next video.